Hello defenders welcome back to our channel so today we are going to be talking about dns what is dns we all know dns stands for domain name system it is a service offered by a server called the dns again domain name server so it works on port udp 53 and dns zone transfers work on uh, tcp 53 in udp 53 what specifically happens is called the dns queries right let us understand that a little more in detail For example, I have ten friends, right? What are the chances I can remember each of their phone numbers? Very hard, right? So what I do? I store their numbers as their names in my contact book, in my phone's contact page, right? Likewise, uh, in in that way, what happens? I don't even need to remember all the ten numbers. I can just need to only know their names, and their names are already mapped to a number, which is making our work a lot easier. that is exactly what the dns servers do right so all you have to remember is yahoo.com google.com bing.com on the back end you don't really know to uh, need to know the ip address but still computers can only communicate to another computer using ip address right now thanks to dns you can just remember only the names and computers also can communicate using names which in turn transfers or transforms the, those names into ip addresses right okay now we are going to be seeing something called the subdomain enumeration what is subdomain enumeration right subdomain enumeration is a technique used as the information gathering phase right in in the information gathering phase subdomain enumeration critical element in the information gathering phase what does subdomain information gathering help you to do what does it help you to achieve number 1 say for example you are penetration testing or you are doing a vulnerability assessment on a website called abc.com yeah? example website abc.com right and you are constantly trying to scan the website you are constantly trying to do a port scan vulnerability scan but still there are not much you are able to uh, do there right so what, what what is the next step that you can do as a process in the information gathering phase what you can also do is very simple you can do something called the subdomain enumeration right in subdomain enumeration what actually happens is you can give a domain name right to this tool and this tool is going to pull all the possible subdomains that are active and mapped to this domain right for example let me show you this website I am going to this website called dnsdumpster.com. In this website, it does something called the DNS reckon, right? So here I say zoho.com, for example. When I say zoho.com, look at this. It actually pulls a lot of details, which are not just related to the domain, but also they may even be the absolute relative subdomain or absolute subdomain. Look at this. something.zoho.com 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 right usually all these information available they are usually not available unless you do a, D- a dns lookup now what is the take away here right if you are a red team tester or a assessor who wants to do a testing on abc.com you can still identify other sources or other routes in which you can audit abc.com for example zoho.com right if i want to audit zoho.com and i know zoho.com is very secure i now am given with the choice of over 100 different subdomains through which i can leverage and gain access to zoho.com for example right this is exactly why i am telling you dns subdomain uh, enumeration is a key activity and it also helps in a very popular attack called the subdomain takeover attack as well right okay how does this tool actually work thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity